Class number 137, Yin Yang Yoga. And this is your sneak peek into the live stream room at the guest bungalow. Today's hour offering was a special request for a yin sequence and an abdominal workout. Nothing intense, but nothing easy. Something moderate, if you will. So we started off in child's pose, which is my favorite pose within the entire sequence. And I'm going to walk you through the posture in one moment. Um, not only were we in child's pose, but we spent the majority of our time on our hands and knees. In the middle of the hour class is where I offered an abdominal toning experience, a, a beach abs workout, if you will. And then we concluded our practice in a yin style as well, the deepest stretch of the connective tissues, but on our back, ending with a guided relaxation in meditation. If you'd like to join me, roll out your yoga mat and make your way to child's pose. Your big toes are going to come together at the back of your mat. If you want a deep stretch in your hips, you're going to move your knees to the edges of your mat. Send your tush as close to your heels as you can comfortably tolerate. And then allow your belly to relax between your thighs, walking your fingertips out as far as you can. Pretend that your best friend is pulling at your wrists to elongate your spine. Then you relax your forehead down to the mat. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. We held this child's posture for one minute, which is the minimum hold for a yin offering. And then we added some variety, which is why I love child's pose so much. We can remain having a deep stretch of the hips, but move the upper body to make the duration feel shorter than it really is. Walk your hands to the left, as far left as is comfortable for you, for a deep stretch in the right side body. Perhaps you rest your left cheek on your left arm as you lean into your stretch. We remained in this variation of child's pose for one minute before we walked our hands to the right to stretch the left side of the body, resting the right cheek on the right arm. Again, we held this variation for one minute for, before returning to our center, lifting the hand to thread the needle, sending the right hand under the left arm, twisting to rest the right shoulder and cheek, walking the left fingertips as far away from you as comfortable, gazing under the left arm. This variation was also held for one minute before lifting the hand to release the right hand, switching sides to thread the needle. Left hand moves under the right, twisting to rest the left shoulder and cheek, walking the right fingertips as far away from you as comfortable, gazing under the right arm. This variation was held for one minute as well before you lift your hand, release the left hand and slowly make your way up to your tabletop. Freeing the knees under the hips, you curl the toes under, 
Extend the tush to the heels for a deep stretch in the feet. This time you relax the belly on top of the thighs. Forehead to the mat, walking your fingertips out to elongate your spine. Slowly make your way up to your tabletop and then simply join me in a comfortable seat. I love that offering of child's pose so very much because the lower half of the body gets to experience that childlike deep stretch of the hips and the lower back while the upper body has the opportunity to move into different poses to allow the body and the mind to relax. If you would like to experience this one hour offering, make your way to guestbungalow.com and enter the live stream room. It's now available on demand and will never be deleted. And don't forget to stretch. Visit theguestbungalow.com today. We're open 24 seven to help you and your household unearth grace. Happy new year to my yoga teacher.